Hello Sacred Beams and welcome to my channel. Today I'm super excited because I am doing a requested video by one of you who was interested in the Coho Tech comment that took place in 1973-1974. So before we get started with this video, I just want to say thank you to all of the new subscribers. I'm still like in shock that we've reached our goal of a thousand. So thank you all so much and welcome new subscribers. But if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to be part of this spiritual community growing together while on our sacred journeys, then please subscribe. <laughs> but let's get going because we have a lot to cover today. Before we begin, I will say this window is glaring. The blind is down, but I think it's the time of day that I'm recording that the sun is shining perfectly. So I try to cover it with a washcloth rag thing, but I'm just going to hide it with my head because we will use this space to post information to help you uh, with your birth chart because the request we received was specifically the Coho Tech comment. One of you amazing people were wondering if star seeds came from this comet and then the year they were born is when this comet was going through the sky and that's it was sometimes referred to or called the star seed comet and that their intuition makes them feel that that's how they got to earth so right away i was extremely interested in this theory of if star seeds landed on earth from comets or asteroids or meteorites flying through the sky. So we are going to go over a little bit of info about this specific comet, why they called it the Starseed Comet, and then also information in your birth chart. So while this comet was going through the sky, um, what it says about you. So I have a lot of great information to cover. And also I found a lot of information about like over 10 specific uh, important comets or asteroids. So if you guys want an in-depth video all about comets and asteroids and what they mean in your birth chart, then let me know below because that seems pretty interesting to me. But let's begin. So the Coho Tech comet was the comet of the century when it blazed into the night sky in 1973. So it was specifically discovered on March 7th, 1973, in the Hydra constellation. In the far west of Hydra constellation is where um, this astrologist saw this comet in the sky. And then it could be seen with the naked eye in November 1973 when the tail was brightest on November 21st. So this is what this amazing comet looked like. And then they said the comet was the brightest um, from January 11th to 20th in 1974, but that it could only be seen through a telescope. So why was Coho Tech therefore later named a starseed comet? So this is super interesting. It's uh, Dr. Timothy Leary wrote a short book or essay about this comet and he titled the book Starseed. So you could definitely look this up. Uh, the whole essay article will be linked below. It starts with archive.org. But it's very interesting because this guy was arrested multiple times and thrown in jail, but that he there was no illegal activity for his arrest. He was just using too much energy is what he quoted and using transmitting devices transmuting information like through the radio waves they basically said he knew too much and that he kept getting arrested but with no proven reason for why so he was in the Folsom prison which is in California when he transmitted info about this comment and then wrote this whole essay so he wrote this essay and then he broadcasted it uh, from inside of a prison to talk about what was going on with this starseed Kohotek comet. So he said that this comet was right on schedule and the first signal from extraterrestrial life that help was on its way. They called it starseed to represent new light, new life, bright reminder of our extraterrestrial origin and future, and a symbol of freedom. So he said starseed was the signal. The moment was now for spiritual reckoning. So reading through his article made me think like 
that was the time in 1973, 1974, when spirituality really like kicked in and like people started slowly waking up in 1973. So let me know if you agree with that or not. So the star seed comes at the right time to return light to planet Earth. The structure for the new way is already here. Starseed will turn on the new network. So I also thought that was pretty cool because it relates to like actual star seeds coming to Earth for a specific reason. And most of those are those reasons. So I'm going to read this short little part from his essay and then we'll move on to the markings and your birth chart. So this is what he said. Another possible reason they called it Starseed is because he said, life is an interstellar communication network. These seeds land on planets are activated by solar radiation, so from the sun, and then they involve their nervous system. The bodies which house and transport nervous systems and the Reproductive seeds are constructed in response to the atmospheric and gravitational characteristics of the host planet or Earth. So this is basically saying or suggesting that yes, star seeds can come from comets. Like saying when it was crossing Earth like that close, it could have then been that soul put into the soul of a child being born at that time. Do you see what I mean? Because they say star seeds go through the portal of female reproductive organs to be born into earth, but the soul of a star seed. So that's pretty interesting. A comet going through the sky, more chances of being a star seed if you're born at that time. Other markings, if you come from the Kohotek comet. So like they said, it was first discovered in the western part of Hydra constellation. They don't know if it came from Hydra constellation, but that's where they first discovered it. So if it did, then you most likely would be a Hydra star seed, which we've talked before in my part three video. Go check it out if you want to. But basically the markings in your birth chart are 10, 11, 27 in Leo, and then two in Virgo. So we'll go over getting your birth chart in a moment. And then the most Western part of Hydra is the Alfred star within Hydra constellation, which is exactly at 27 degree Leo 17, which is also the brightest star within the largest constellation in our sky. So within our galaxy of the Milky Way galaxy, the brightest star is this star, which was like the brightest comet. So sounds like you would come from here. The person who requested this video do you have any of these markings in your birth chart? Because if so, that is a very big confirmation. Now, let's talk about what it means to have this specific comet in your birth chart when you were born. But not only that, I researched if this comet is still out there because why would it show up in my birth chart if it, are, it already faded out? But in fact, as of right now, the comment is about 11 billion km <laughs> from the sun in the constellation of Gemini. That's where it is right now. So I had, I Googled because I was just confused of why it was showing up in my birth chart because I thought comments just all fade out. But a lot of them take forever to fade out um, into nothingness. <laughs> So it is still out there. So all of you will find this comment in your birth chart at the time you were born, if you were born after 1973. But I don't know because it could have been around a lot sooner than that. So if you're born before 1973 when this was discovered, I would like to know in the comments if it did appear on your birth chart or not. That is interesting. So the meaning for anyone born when a comet is in the sky, this is a general meaning. Someone born with a comet in the sky could be an innovative thinker and could be associated with shocks. So like doing something so shocking in their life that you just, you know, make a huge change in the world. Uh, these people may carry out actions to release or may have an overwhelming influences over large groups. Their attitude and traits may be unpredictable. And then the Chinese call comments the broom star 
and that is because brooms clean and sweep away unnecessary stuff, which we must do in order to make room for new things. So the inevitable new changes are brought forth through destructive forces. They also say that comets represents wisdom and they are a symbol of a treasure sword. So wield the sword of wisdom to cut away the attachment. So those are just general meanings if you have a comet in the sky the day you were born. But let's move on to getting your birth chart. So let's see specifically where it is in your chart when this was in the sky. So what you're going to need to do is go to Google and you want to Google astro.com extended birth chart. If you Google that whole sentence, then you just click on the first link and you might have to go through a couple steps, but until you get to the page to fill out all your information. And then you want to click on additional objects. And then after that, you would click on asteroid name list um, and go to K. And then you can scroll all the way down when you find Kohotek. Or you can just type it in manually in the manual entry 1850. That's what it's called in this chart we're using. And then you want to scroll up and click on show the chart. So this is what it's going to look like. And the only area you really want to focus on is here and in the left hand corner and find the zodiac sign that the comet is in. So it should say Kohotek and then for example mine says Leo. But before we go to that, um, those numbers I gave earlier, if you want to know if you're from Hydra, if you have a Leo in 10, 11, 27, or a 2 in Virgo, or specifically 27 Leo 17, those are my markings to being a Hydra star seed and a confirmation that you probably came from this comet. Back to the zodiac sign. So this is telling you where the comet was in the sky when you were born. So mine says it was in Leo. And then you also want to look at this box to the right. And you want to know, you want to see what else is in the same box as KO, which stands for the Kohotek. So do you have any planets there? So mine, for example, is a moon, and you can tell what this symbol means by looking back to the left side. We'll have all the symbols, and for example, moon, that was a pretty easy one, but you can see the other ones here, like Jupiter, what the symbol would lo look like. And then also, while, before you move on, you want to actually click transit, or I forget what it's called, but at the top of the chart, like add transits, and this will add like the green markings on the specific circle grid. So here you can actually see on your grid, look for the KO, Kohotek, and then that will also show which planets are in the same area. But the green markings on the outside of the circle are called transits, which those are going to be important. So keep that um, up when we're going over this part. So I'll read you the meanings of having a moon in Kohotek and also it was in Leo. So you want to go to this website to read yours. Um, it's going to be linked in the description, but it starts with Quad Reverum Astrology. <laughs> so I'm only going to read you mine from that website. So the meaning of having a moon with this comet in the sky. Okay. So this is saying the conscious. So I'm consciously aware of this. This is what I should be applying to life. And my basically my purpose is to renew my emotional life or heed the call of your ancestors to carry out one of your family's traditions. So I thought that was very interesting. But then you can it also tells you the unconscious effect or the undesired outcome of having um, Kohotek in moon. And it says destructive emotions control your life or turning my back on my family. So this is like what I don't want to happen. Or if it does happen, it's the negative aspect. So I don't think I've turned my back on my family. I mean, I'm the only one who left my hometown and went all the way across the country, literally from Florida to Oregon. And I've been on the road for three years so I don't know if that's turning my back. I know that they're extremely proud of me. So 
that's that. <laughs> but now let's look at, it also tells you the meaning of having a Leo. So Kohotek and Leo indicates a prominent entertainer or a political leader, which I don't think a political leader, but definitely entertainer. I don't know. You guys tell me, <laughs> but it says, so if in transit, so my Leo is not in transit because if we look back at the chart, it's not on the outside in green of the circle. But if you go back to the left side of the chart down here and look at Kohotek, to the right side, there is a green portion, which is the transits of the comet. And mine says it's in Virgo. I didn't remember the zodiac symbol for Virgo. So I Googled zodiac signs and I matched the symbol up. So that is a Virgo or yeah, Virgo symbol. But the meaning from the website says having that transit, it means a major in my service to others or in the way you organize your life. So I guess basically to focus on being a service to others and pretty explanatory, organize my life better. <laughs> so I did find that was pretty cool about the comet. So definitely go to that website to find the meaning of yours, which will be linked below. But I hope this is what you expected for your your requests that I hopefully I did it justice, this research for you. And like I said, if you're interested in a video all about comments in your birth chart and specific comments, I probably will do it anyways because I'm interested, but just confirm that for me in the comments if you actually want that. But that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much. Now I'm off to the post office to mail out the giveaway winner's prizes. I'm super excited about that. So see you in the next video and have a great day.